Hi guys, so I'm here with a new filming background. I spent most of Saturday night and Sunday morning building this new dresser. Um, Saturday night probably wasn't the best idea considering I'd had a bottle of wine to get me through the football. So it is up now and I said in my last two videos that were hauls that I wasn't going to do another one. But unfortunately, Space NK, being the little devil that it is, um, had a gift with purchase, which as you know, I can't really say no to. So um, I bought a few things, um, so I'm going to go through and show you what I bought and then go through the goodie bag and see what's in there. So the first thing that I picked up was from NARS and it is a bronzer and of course it's Laguna Bronzer. I am near the end of mine but actually this isn't even for me, it is for my best friend for her birthday and she'll probably watch this but she already knows she's getting it so I'll just show it anyway. So it looks like this, I'll try not to damage it otherwise somebody's not going to be happy. Um, but it is the most beautiful bronzer ever and like I've already been through two and I'm due for number three so that shows how much it's used. Um, it is one of those typical cult products but it's that good that you just can't, you can't look past that. Don't try to be unique or individual because this stuff is amazing and it's just perfect for contouring, bronzing all over and then also from NARS because I'm a true narcissist, I'll put it out there. Um, I got a replacement of the Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is in the shade Light 2 Vanilla and this is such a hard shade to get hold of. Um, it looks like this. I love the packaging of this. It's just so, like, just so sleek. I love it. And um, this is my second um, of the Radiant Creamy Concealer because I had um, one and it's literally its last legs and I thought as soon as the vanilla was in stock I was all over it. So, um, of course, I got that. Uh, then the final makeup product that I bought is one that's actually just so naughty. I couldn't believe I put it in a basket, to be honest. Um, and it's from By Terry, and I have never owned a single By Terry item before. I'm not a Space NK virgin. I shop there quite often, but I've never quite got around to actually putting one of their products in my basket or, like, metaphorical basket. <laughs> so, this is the Touche Volute. Highlighting concealer brush and this is in the shade 2 cream which was the perfect shade for me thankfully and it's kind of a bit like um, YSL Touche Eclat but like way more expensive. Uh, it is enormous so that was a plus and it's a brush so you, you sort of pump up and put like, concealers at the moment and I'm not really too sure why um, but I just love the packaging of this and I can finally say I've got a By Terry product and I've used it today and it's really nice consistency. It's not okay, for hair care I picked up a Bumble and Bumble product which if you've seen my previous videos you'll know is not really a surprise because I have tried quite a lot of their things and just absolutely love <laughs> Bumble and Bumble and this is their Pretta powder which is an equal parts dry shampoo, style extender and volume in a pinch. So it looks like this and basically it is a white powder that actually you can like rub in and it goes transparent um that you put into sort of the roots of your hair just to give it a lift and a bit of volume and it just sounded like such a good mix between a dry shampoo and a sort of like volumizer because sometimes i find that a uh, dry shampoo doesn't give you enough t like sort of texture and volume um, and then like a dry texture iron spray doesn't sort of get rid of any sort of greasiness so this is like a two in one product and I'm very excited to use this. <laughs> On to skincare and I've been looking around for like an oil or serum kind of hybrid treatment um, just for like on an evening. I've had my eye on this for a while so of course it went in my basket and it's the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate which is a replenishing elixir of pure essential oils and distilled botanicals to visibly restore the appearance of skin by morning. So it looks like this. What I love most about this is if you press the top of it, it actually like sucks the product into the pipette. I'm sorry, that is amazing packaging right there. And I'm going to use this tonight and I'm so excited because I feel like my nighttime skincare routine has been sort of lacking a little bit and I was meant to do a video on it so I haven't forgotten guys, I just need to get my ass into gear and sort it out. <laughs> so this I'm sure will be part of that routine and I'm very very excited to try it tonight. 
And then the final thing that I purchased was actually a gift set and I thought this was such a good offer that I couldn't really refuse it. And it's the Caudalie Divine Body Set and it has the Divine Oil and the Divine Legs in the set. And it's only, seven, I thought it was £17.50 is a really good price for that. So you get a 50ml in the oil and a 25ml in the Divine Legs. I have had a little sample of the oil before and really, really liked it both for my legs and my face and my hair so it's like an all-in-one kind of good product to have and then the divine legs it's summer so got to get the legs out unfortunately I've half got them out today you can't see them thankfully because they do not look good um so I might have to be trying this sooner than I thought so I thought I'd pick that up and add that into my basket as well so that's everything that I got um and then you put in a code and you so you've got an amazing gift with purchase which comes in this enormous space and k bag so i'm going to go through quickly i won't go into too much detail about things because it's not available anymore and i don't want to rub it in too much but i thought i'd share it anyway so please don't hate me um so i'll just start pulling things out random so um you get a wren 50 ml rose scented foliar three in one cleansing water which is going to be perfect for when i go to australia later on in the year just sort of good travel size then you've got a Living Proof Restore Hair Mask for dry or damaged hair. I have dry hair. It is damaged. Perfect. So it's a nice little um, leave-in conditioner sort of treatment. And I've tried the Style Extender. I've tried the Style Extender from them before, so I'm quite excited to try this as well. Then you get a 50ml Fito Paris Ultra Repairing Mask for weak and damaged hair. It's like this whole shebang was aimed at me and my ridiculously dry bristle thin fine hair um this looks like it could be like maybe a full size it's quite a good one um and it looks like that so it's like a good amount there so i'm sure that'll be used on these old tresses um then you get a margaret dabs london foot care intensive treatment foot oil um i haven't heard of margaret dabs dobs dabs before um, but a foot oil sounds interesting and with it being sandal season I feel like I need to uh, whack that on the old crusty feet. Um, then you get an Evlom TLC cream and this is a 15ml and it's um, sort of like for like the face, neck and decollage, decollage, you know what I mean, <laughs> collarbone area. So that's that and I've, I've tried a few Evlom things and they're always really good. Then you've got an Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer and this is a, what size is a 5ml. I do have the sort of mini one, um, so this is a good one to try as well because it's a really lovely primer. Um, it's very light on the skin and sort of casts a sort of veil over the, uh, um, the face and it's such a really nice one that I wear like for special occasions or like nights out, um, so that'll be going in the drawer. Then you've got a... Rodile Stem Cell Superfood Facial Oil, uh, which is a serum for dehydrated skin, and it's got loads of vitamins and omegas in. And this is a 10 ml, and it's got a little pipette as well. So my mum had her eye on that, and I told her she wasn't allowed it. She's actually taken something, the two things, that, but I don't know what they were, so she's taken them already. But anyway, then you got a revive moisturizing renewal cream and this is in a 15 ml so it's a nice um it was a night cream actually ah we like that we like that it's to retexturize and hydrate so it's a nice little night cream to try then it's not a bad size either then i got a gelique rose hand cream which is a 15 ml and this is perfect for throwing in your bag then you get a why we why dragon blood face lifting pad did they steal it from the Khaleesi? Um, so, this is weird because I feel like I need to take it out but I'm not going to use it. Um, formulated with Dragon's Blood uh, from the legendary Dragon Tree, this unique plastic pad helps instantly improve the appearance of firmness, diminishes the look of sagging skin, that sounds nice doesn't it, um, while providing long term firming and lifting benefits to the jaw and chin area. Use once a week and wherever needed. I think I'm going to have to use that just to get rid of my double chin. It might work. It's got dragon's blood in it. It could work. <laughs> so I'm sure I'll be trying that at some point. And then I got a 50ml Life NK. So it's spacing. I think this is 
Space and K-Zone range. Jump Start Sugar Scrub exfoliates, invigorates, washes off Lynn's skin bright and smooth. So I'll be using that in the shower. Then I got a Gold Fadden MD Dr. Scrub Ruby Crystal Microderm Exfoliator. This smells good. This smells nice. It's like very kind of citrusy and I believe it's for the face. It is a 3.75 gram. Nice little uh, throw in your sort of travel bag. Um, then you get a Shantakai, yes, Shantakai, um, Full Seals Mascara in black, which I've actually got on today. I've got some lashes on as well, but um, this is amazing and I'm really mad that it's amazing because it means I'm going to want it which also means that it's going to be super expensive and I don't even look to see how much it is because I don't own anything else by Shantikai but I'm super, super, super excited about that. It's a Maylin and Gotez Bergemon body wash and my mum opened this before. Yeah, it's just like a really nice fresh, we like a good fresh shower gel, don't we, body wash because let's be honest, you want to smell fresh, don't you? So that's a nice little travel on there. All oh, this stuff's going to be great for Australia, so it's actually a good investment really, wasn't it? Um, then you get a Laura Mercier, and y'all know I love Laura Mercier, and this is a Highlight 01, and this is a 1.8 gram, and it's actually quite a good size, I think. It's like nice, sort of little compact, but it's a baked highlighter, and it's got like a dome to it, so I think this is going to last a long time, and I've got a little bit on today very subtle it's nothing like um the balm mary luminizer or anything like that but it is a good one and then i got the nude pro genius treatment oil and this is a five mil so all these things i'm going to be throwing them on my face all in one go um gosh this is never actually ending then i got 40 mil aromatherapy associates renewing rose body cream which is going to be so so nice when I had to take that on holiday with me. I feel like seriously, you guys are probably so bored now. Um, then you get a Becca Bronzing Skin Perfector, which I've actually used today, and it's like a cream bronzer slash contour, and this is a 10 mil, so that's going to be a really nice sample to try. And I've tried a few things from Becca, and they've always been really good. Um, then I got a Cordly Pro Polypenthol. Uh, Anti-wrinkle defence serum. This is a 10 mil again with a pipette. Yes, we're looking for a good pipette. Um, definitely gonna try that. My mum tried sneaking that one away, and I was like, no, nah, you're alright. <laughs> then I got something that I was so 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 excited about. It's so pathetic because it's only a five mil. Um, but this is a this works deep pillow spray, and it's tiny, but it's like amazing because I struggle to sleep quite a bit on a night. Can't really switch off. I thought if I spray it in my pillow, everybody says it's quite good, so I'm going to give that a whirl tonight. Definitely I'll be out like a light, hopefully. Um, then I got a little bit of Bumble and Bumble, and this is the Thickening Hairspray, which I've had before. And this is a 30ml, and this stuff is amazing. Like, literally gives you so much volume in your hair and thickness, but then it actually makes your hair dry quicker with a hairdryer. It is a true story, and I really like that, and I've actually just run out of the other one. Then I got a, it's like never ending, this is the most amazing gift with purchase they've done, I swear, um, a Zellens Absolute Face Oil and this is a 5ml and Zellens is so expensive that I wouldn't even think about buying anything from them because it's just so, so pricey, but I'm quite excited to use a face oil. And then, right now to the bottom now. <laughs> Then I got a Lipstick Queen uh, Glossy Pencil in Chase, which I'm wearing today, and it's just like a really nice, um, like medium -y ready kind of, a bit pinky kind of colour. Really nice, very glossy, glided onto the lips, gives a nice amount of colour. Then, the standard in a Space and K gift with purchase, a Diptyque Candle, and you'll probably know I do love Diptyque Candles. I've got one burning in the background here. And I've got another one on my windowsill and I just think they're amazing but they are so expensive. So any little sample I can get, I'll go with it. And this is the Freel de la Lavend. So it's a lavender scented one. And it's so, so nice. And it's just a little diddy one. I think it's a 35 gram, tiny little candle. You won't get many burns out of it but it's absolutely beautiful. And the thing with Diptyque candles is they literally smell 
when they're not lit. Like, I can smell the one that's on my window sill and it's not lit, and usually I can smell that one when it's not lit either. So, yeah. I'm out of breath now. I've outshopped myself. I need to stop. It's a problem. And I feel like I'm just going to keep trying to enable you guys, and I'm going to enable it myself, and it's just not going to end well. I'm meant to be saving goddamn money. So, hopefully this is the last haul, she says, probably lying. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give the video a big thumbs up. Leave me a little comment below with anything you'd want to see in the future. And if you can subscribe, that'd be great too. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.